You ever wonder how Hollywood movies like this get made? This is not Hollywood. Sure it is. We open up on our hero. Running through a lush jungle. Nay, an urban jungle. Cue the helicopter. Save the damsel. Trigger the explosions. Cut. That's a wrap. So before whatever all of this is, we start with an idea. That gets turned into a script. A production plan is made. A storyboard is drawn. And a cast and crew is cast and crewed. Eventually, the film is sold to a studio that funds the project. With a fistful of cash, we shoot, edit, and add all the special effects. Okay, explosions. We market it, screen it, and laugh, or cry, all the way down to the bank and go down as a massive success or failure in Hollywood. Research is a lot like this. We start with an idea. These ideas get turned into a proposal that professors across your university use to apply for funding. From here, it's lights, cameras, action, and we get to work casting our cast and crewing our crew, recruiting all the talented people that will play a role in our project. We execute the project plan and analyze the results so we can move our field forward. But let's break it down a little more. The idea is what we call a research question. And like movies, they come in all shapes and sizes. Our next step is called literature review. This step is all about learning from those that came before us, taking inspiration and carrying their work to the next level. Now we're ready to develop a research plan. This step is a lot like storyboarding and casting. This plan involves deciding on methods, experimental design, and testing to be performed, and which members of the team will perform what work. Researchers at Baylor University are working with big industry brands to create new and advanced composite materials, while researchers at Rose Holman are making vegan ice cream from all natural ingredients. And just like when making a movie, we need funding. A well-crafted proposal is written by the principal investigator and submitted to funding agencies who are looking to fund projects like yours. This might be a foundation, a university, a local or federal agency, or an industry investor. Now it's finally time to shoot. I mean, conduct the research. Conducting research involves performing the theoretical, experimental, and computational work of the research. Researchers at LTU are using advanced motion capture to study human movement, while researchers at Baylor University are designing drone propellers that are whisper quiet. Our next step is analysis. Much like editing and post-production, analysis is where the results of the work are put together into a coherent whole to be understood. And finally, it's time to set our baby free. Publication and reporting are the distribution and marketing of your project. This is where the work is submitted for peer review and your results become known to the field. Just like in Hollywood, great movies and great research are the product of many contributors coming together for the same purpose. And just like a movie, the goal is never to just release it. The goal is for people to utilize it and for it to mean something to them to bring value and inspiration to their life. Research is no different. Your research is meant ultimately to bring value to each and every person who benefits from the work. Steven Spielberg didn't start by directing big budget movies. He started working on short home movies, casting his sisters and his Boy Scout troop. The point is he started. He put himself in the room with other artists on the same journey and he learned as much as he possibly could about his craft. When you participate in research projects, you're placing yourself in the room with others on your journey. Who knows what you'll learn, who you'll meet, or what you'll discover. You just have to take that initial step and get started. Contact a professor or two, camp outside their offices, and ask them about their research projects and plans to see how it compares to what you learned about in this video.